Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mark Wahlberg! How are you? How are you? How are you? Good. Have a seat. Mark, don't drink that. <laughs> don't drink... It's goo, goo, put it in your mouth. It's brick and beef, it's not gone well. Uh, now, I've got a couple of questions, OK, cos it's very rare we get big American Hollywood actors. It's just cos Ross isn't around at the moment, so you're here. <laughs> I was on that show, well, and I was on it with Andrew Lloyd Webber. The way his face is on Inside Out, have you noticed? Yeah, it's something. <laughs> Unbelievable. It's something, yeah. And it's so weird, because that's my second encounter with him. The first time I saw him, I was at a, a, hel a heliport going to Birmingham with George Clooney. And George Clooney goes up and tells him, hey, Mark Wahlberg's over there, he's a huge fan. And next thing you know, Andrew Lloyd Webber comes over, he's talking to me for half an hour. I didn't know who the guy was. <laughs> you know? He's like, you know, he's never the done Opera? Any, what is that? He's never done any rap songs, has he? No hip-hop. No, he's not, really, <laughs> he's not really from the hood, you know? <laughs> <laughs> no, so, uh, the new film, I want to talk to you about that, if I may. Yeah, okay. sure. Max Payne. What's it about? Uh, well, I play a homicide cop, the title character, uh, whose wife and child are brutally murdered, and I basically get to go and destroy everybody else that's uh, responsible, even remotely responsible. It's one of those edge-of-the-seat proper action movies, a nice yes. Sunday afternoon relaxing fighty film. This is the real deal. You know, working with John, he's uh, definitely one of the best action directors out there, and he really pushed the envelope. He's here, yes. OK? It's John Moore. He's here. Now, he's, he's a big fan of the... He is not the sting, He right? is the sting. Oh, he's not the sting. Not, he unless, is the not unless he can pump himself up. <laughs> Next question I've got, and this is an important one, OK? There's a girl in this Max Payne movie, OK? Yes. Who is called Olga Kurilenko. Kurilenko, yes, the new Bond girl. Now, she's in that Bond film, and James Bond doesn't do having sex with her. Yeah? Why? In Max... Well, this is on... In Max Payne, she's lying in your bed wearing, let's be honest, not much, and you go, oh, no. Has she got a beard or something? <laughs> <laughs> you know, again, another John Moore question, because, you know, we could have easily shot the sex scene and not put it in the movie. There's many yeah. other scenes. <laughs> There's many other scenes... The answer. ...that ended up on the editing room floor. Um, are you the first action hero, really, ever, to have a side parting? Yeah. I don't... <laughs> I was looking and I was thinking, like, a side parting, that's a... That... Oh, he, Does he look great? Thank you. Oh, okay. <laughs> now, I just want to talk to you about the Italian job, cos you were obviously in the remake of yes. that. Now, was there a certain nervousness about doing a remake of a classic film? Uh, no, no only, only coming over here to promote it. Uh, because obviously, you know, uh, it was a British film. Uh, people in America don't give a <laughs> what you do with their movies. But, uh, you know, obviously, you know, Michael Caine. So, yeah, it was a big deal coming over here. We wanted to make sure that we could make a really cool movie. Yeah, well, I, th I mean, to be honest, I thought it was a very cool movie. I've heard tell there's going to be a sequel to The Italian Job. Is that right? They've been trying to make a sequel to The Italian Job for quite some time, but I don't want to do it for the sake of a paycheck. If we can't make it better than the first, then I don't want to do it. And they haven't really been able to get the script in shape, so... The worrying thing is the title. The Brazilian Job? The Brazilian Job. You see... <laughs> <laughs> we, does that translate? That's an American... You know what? Yes. The, yeah. Yes. You got one? No. You've got one. <laughs> Oh, I thought you were asking me. I mean, yeah. Come on up here. What's the most enjoyable film you've worked on? I, excluding, obviously, going to say Max Payne now, but what's the...? Um, probably The Departed. It was, because there's yeah. a hell of, I mean, the talent in that one, there's you, there's DiCaprio, there's yeah. Jack Nicholson, uh -huh. there's Matt, Matt Damon. Matt Damon, Alec Baldwin, Martin Sheehan. But what made it so much fun? Well, because it was my neck of the woods, you know. I, I, I've had a lot of experience with the Boston Police Department. <laughs> and uh, and finally, <laughs> finally being able to put all that to good use. You know, uh, you know, playing a cop instead of being arrested by them was a lot of fun. Well, I was going to say, you did have a... Let's, how can I phrase this? A wild... A wild upbringing, shall we say. Is that fair enough? Yes. Yes. I mean, you, let's put it like this way. Your first cars, you didn't buy them. Not all of them. So, it, actually, the first one that I kind of owned, I bought it from a friend, but I was, like, 13 years old. I didn't have a license, obviously. It wasn't registered or insured. But, uh, yeah, I stole quite a few cars in my day. Well, didn't you steal the same guy's car a few... I did. He was, uh... <laughs> How many times did you steal his, his car? Probably, like, 10 or 15. I mean, he would... <laughs> we'd drive around the neighborhood. He'd find it, or the cops would find it, bring it back. And I'd walk down the street, 
jump in the car, you know, just pinch the window and unlock it, jump back in and start it. He'd come running out, start chasing me. I'm like, hey, you, see you later. <laughs> but I want to apologize to him because I probably caused him a lot of heartache. He probably missed work quite a few times because we were all joyriding in his car. And then it sort of got even more wild, didn't it? You did some time? Yes, I did, I did do a brief stint in uh, prison. And then, I, I mean, this is the bit that fascinates me. You're out. Your brother's then in New Kids on the Block, the band. <laughs> You join. Because I could have done that instead. You know, they went on to make millions and millions of dollars. And I'm sitting there. The funny thing was, I remember the first time they came on TV to do one of their big performances, I'm sitting in the rec room in jail. And I'm like, hey, that's my brother. I could have been in that group. And they would say, well, you're a dumb full of <laughs> Because, uh, you know, here I am sitting there with them, you know, trying to uh, protect myself. Um, you are what we call over here a petrol head. I don't know what you call them, rivet heads or something. Not rivet heads. What do you call them over there in America? Your car's... Gearhead. Gearhead, that's what yeah. I was looking for. Your cars have been good. I mean, there's, looking back through the history, what was the first one? SL? Yeah. Mercedes? That was the first one that I bought with, the, you know, a brand new car. That was the mm -hmm. first one I bought. And then now you have a... I have a Maybach, the big one, 62 inch. Yeah. <laughs> On purpose, or was it in a cereal package or something? No. <laughs> um, and then I have a uh, Brabus Mercedes 550. Tom Cruise is a big Brabus fan, isn't he? I don't know. Tom Cruise, do you not know him? We attend different churches, so I don't know. <laughs> I'm not the one, you know. He is, uh... I'm not the one with Jesus, baby. <laughs> OK, you came down here presumably utterly bewildered that there's a bleak airstrip in the middle of England with a man who won't take his helmet off called Stig. Yeah. He takes you out in a not very exciting car with mm -hmm. a steering wheel on the wrong side and a lever sticking up out of the floor. Yes. Did that baffle you, by the way, the lever? It did. What was that? <laughs> Is that why you didn't treat our car quite as well as, let's say, other people treat it? I'm sorry. Did you break our car? I broke a couple of them, I think. I heard there's a cameraman over there and some poo came out of him. Yeah, I don't know. The crazy thing is I went so far off the track and then next time around he was in that same exact spot. I yes. said, oh, he's got balls. Yeah. I'm just, Who'd like to see what? Go on, sorry. I'm just glad this isn't how I make my living because I'd be broke. Well, we don't know. Shall we have a look at the lap? Yeah. Let's play the tape. Here we go. That's an aggressive start. So angry, oh, bloody hell, that's aggressively turned in there, and there. This is a hunk of crap. And this, that's good, I've gone mad. You've got balls standing there, I just ran over that grass. <laughs> yeah, and that's cutting the corner, and that's cutting the corner. Is he going to kill this one? Were you just aiming for the cameraman? Here we are, on the racetrack in the UK. Mark Wahlberg. That's well, Jason Statham is who it actually is. <laughs> that was quick. That's nice. Close to the tyres. Yes, move those. Now flat. Oh, not quite so quick there, but that's good line across. That's not bad, though. Coming up to Michael Gambon corner, and there we are across the line. That since we've had that car, these are the people, most of whom you won't have a clue who they are. Um, I'm I don't know how, any of them, really. Well, you know him. Simon Cowell? Uh, Ray Winston, too. I worked with him. Ray Winston, yeah, well, he departed, yeah. yeah. Brian Cox? Brian Cox, yeah, he was really dreadful. <laughs> so you want to beat Brian Cox? That'll be, yeah, that'll do it. I got the time here. You did it. It was a mad lap, I've got to be honest. Yeah. I mean, super aggressive. You did it. In one, so you're better than Brian Cox, 48.7. So he's under the 150. Give him a round of applause as we put him there. That's not bad, somewhere in the middle. No, well, that's perfect. That's very good to say that the steering wheel was on the correct side. You know, it's yeah. confusing. But no, that's really good. And uh, it's been an absolute joy to have you here. Thank you, I appreciate it. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Wahlberg! Yeah.